YouTube, how you guys doing? I am out the shower, washed my face, did an enzyme mask on my face, rinsed that when I was in the shower, did my skincare, brushed my teeth, <laughs> and then put lotion on my feet, put my aloe socks on, and put lotion on my hands. And so that's the process I have been doing before I sit on the bed and I've been sleeping on that side this is the king size bed this thing is huge so this is the last thing I do before I get in the bed and I leave this on top of the book that's over there so after I do all of that in the bathroom I sit on the side of my bed and I take out my guasa and this fits like so easily into my routine and yes I have on a sanctified shirt this shirt is holy I sleep so well in it Anyway, <laughs> the first thing I do is, because I'm trying, I want to see if it's going to work on here for this pocket right here. So the first thing I do is, <coughs> excuse me for any glares, I do five times. I'm going to try and hold it so it's not a glare. So I do that five times, and I put this in the middle because of my larynx. So I start up top and come down to my clavicle. There's lymph nodes down here. So this is to help the fluid drain down into the lymph node. And then I turn it the long way and do five times here. Then I turn it this way, the, the short side down, and I start in the middle and do five times over. And this is going to be in real time. I do take my time with it for no particular reason. <laughs> I wasn't counting. <laughs> then I'll switch to the other hand. Because I'm because of the way you hold this, it does start to retain the warmth from my hand, whereas the roller, because you hold it in the middle, the roller part on each end still does stay cold. So I do want to say that that this will get not as cool. It doesn't get hot, but the coolness goes away. And if I were to let it sit for a little while or hold it differently, the coolness would come back. And no, I am not counting. I feel like that was five. Then I take the round side. And this is what she did in her video. She went from the corner of her mouth up and she did five times on the... I don't know how many times she did it. I don't even want to lie to you. And I wasn't counting again. So then I'll take it on this side through five times. Then I'll take it over here on the long side. So I just go back and forth. And I like this side because as you see, it goes from here all the way up. So it covers a wide area. And I can feel the tension in my face when I do this. And you may notice that my skin is getting a little more red than it was. As I said, I did do an enzyme mask. My face was breaking out horribly from the <laughs> Almay foundation the other day. Then I turn it this way, and I wiggle here, and I go up five times. I wiggle and go up, because she goes up five times, and then she'll just wiggle, but I just wiggle and then just go, instead of just <laughs> going like that to release the tension between the brows. And then I'll turn it to the long side, and go five times up. And then I thought I wasn't going to like doing it, but I have been doing my eyebrows. I just make sure that it's not over my eye. This is something she did. And when I first did it, I, went, I was feeling like it was weird. And I think maybe I had it this way. And so too much of it was pushing <laughs> for my eyeball. But this way it's not so bad. And then I do the other side. And just because it feels so good. I start the whole process over. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, 
five. The reason I do my skincare first and then brush my teeth and then put lotion on my feet, put chapstick on my lips, and then put lotion on my hands is because I want my skincare to settle in. Did I bring it over here? Ugh, I'm going to have to go get something. I will show it to you again tomorrow, but I have not been using the thick skin. I find that this moves very easily over my skincare. And what I do is, is after I use it, I hope I don't flash you, <laughs> I'll do it up here. I take it in my shirt and I'll wipe my fingerprints off of it. And then without touching it, I just put it back into the... Oh, I almost dropped it back into the case, tie it up, and put it back on top of the book. And then I lay in bed on my back because I don't want to initially just lay on my side. I do tend to be a side sleeper because I want gravity to continue to pull my skin back and to not have my chin sagging over on either side if I'm sleeping on my side. And so I'll lay on my back for a while. Sometimes I'll read a book and then I'm holding the book way up here so I'm not, you know, pinching my chin down. But even now, like, I can still feel the tension from that. And it's, it's, it's not uncomfortable, and it, it feels different. So, with the thick skin, if you guys would like to have it, leave a comment below about why you would like to have this thick skin. I'm not sure if it will travel well. It was inside of a box, and I still have the box. But the top of it was wrapped in some type of cellophane that I had to, like, pick off and cut off. And I know that was to prevent leakage, and so I, I will try to wrap that as, as well as possible so that it doesn't leak. The reason why I'm not using it, I wish I would have read the ingredients first. There's a few silicones in it, and I didn't want to keep putting silicones on my face because sometimes it can break me out. Because even though it does create a barrier, it does moisturize because I have sensitive and temperamental skin. It's creating a barrier even though it's keeping things out my skin's not able to breathe properly and so I think I used it three times as a dropper so I just let it drip into my hand I've never touched the dropper the droppers never been on my skin if you're concerned with um, it being hygienic or not um, but that's it for this and I will come back in the morning and show you how I use the roller so I use the roller in the morning and I actually keep that in my living room and so after I get my day started, I'll just sit there and just... So it's really easy to incorporate the guasa and the roller into your daily routine. And so you'll see me in a few seconds. Hey guys, good morning. It is almost 1600 in military time. That means 4 p.m. to civilians. <laughs> I am up. I've washed my face. I've put on skincare brush my teeth, put on chapstick, and so I'm going to show you how I use this. I do this in my living room or in my dining area, but for continuity of space using the Satchu tools, I said I'll just sit here again in front of my window, and it's so sunny out right now still. So this is how I do this. I get up, I start with my chin on the large side, and as I mentioned this morning, around 5.30 a.m. before I went to sleep. <laughs> By holding this in the middle, this doesn't absorb the heat from your hand as the guasa does. So I do about five times down the center of my chin. Then I do about five times on the side, five times on this side. And I roll upward five times. Sometimes I do this one this way. And then sometimes I'll just switch hands because it is fairly easy to switch hands and do this. And then I'll come back and do from the corner of my cheek upward five times, corner of my cheek upward to, towards my ear five times. Then I move it upward to the upper parts of my cheek five times. Same on the other side. Then I switch it to the small side, and this feels really good because it's cold. And I do under my eye. And sometimes I don't even count when I do under my eye because it just feels so good. <laughs> this 
this is my double back side. See that? Yeah. And then I do the middle, I wiggle, go up five times. And then I switch back to the larger side and do five times here. And then move over a little bit five times here. Five times here above the brow. Move over this way five times above the brow. Switch back to the small side, go across my eyebrow. And then I start over. And sometimes I'll just do the entire half of my face instead of going back and forth. I don't know if it makes a difference. I don't know if it matters. Small side again for under the eye. And center of the forehead. Switching to the large side again. Small side again. I should have just did this the first time. And then we're going to finish up by doing this side again. Small side. And my brow with the small side. And then here. So, and that's it. And then it goes back into the bag. And that is it. This is the thick skin that I forgot to bring in to show you last night, well, this morning, which was my night for me. And so if you would like this, this one, leave a comment below. And this is the drop, but I'm going slow because it's messy. And I don't know if you can see it just run and so I've never touched my hand to this I've never touched it to my skin and putting it in I'm going really slow because it pulls around the top of the container because it is so runny and it says you use two to three drops but the way it runs how do you count that unless I don't know but anyway <laughs> So that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful to you. The way I use this is the way that she does it in her video. Her name is Sarah, also known as Sachu. And in the, the previous videos I did for her tools, I did put her links down in the description bar. And if I remember, I will do the same thing again. So thank you guys for watching. If you have either the roller or the guasa, let me know how that's working for you. If it's making a difference for you, you think. And you will see me in the next video. Thanks. Bye.